Hi, today we're diving into 3.js and Spline, two powerful tools for 3D web development. We'll explain what each one does, compare them, and help you decide which is best for your project. Let's go. First up, 3.js. It's an open source JavaScript library that simplifies WebGL to create 3D graphics in the browser. Released in 2010, it's perfect for developers who want granular control over scenes, cameras, lights, and shaders. It supports complex animations and even VR, AR via WebXR. With a huge community on GitHub, it's free and highly customizable, but it requires coding skills and can be steep to learn. Now, Spline. Launched in 2020, Spline is a codeless 3D design tool that lets you create interactive 3D experiences with a user-friendly interface. Think of it like 3D paint with drag and drop simplicity. It uses WebGL for browser rendering, supports animations, and exports scenes as code or embeds. It's great for designers with a free tier, but premium features start at $9 per month. So, how do they stack up? 3.js offers unmatched control and flexibility, making it ideal for developers building complex, custom 3D apps or games. It's free but demands coding expertise and time. Spline shines for rapid prototyping and designer-friendly workflows, perfect for quick, interactive visuals without coding. However, it is less flexible for intricate projects and has a cost for advanced features. If you're a coder tackling 3D work, 3.js is your go-to. For designers or fast turnarounds, Spline simplicity wins. Check out our chart for a quick breakdown. That's it guys, 3.js for power, Spline for speed. Which one's your pick? Drop a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights. See you next time.